Hey guys, what's up? Rocket Leader is here and I'll be talking about Divide and Conquer in this tutorial among the tutorial series or uh, in the tutorial series on functional JavaScript programming. So Divide and uh, Conquer is a pretty good uh, programming approach that is quite famous. So you need to uh, learn about this, at least the basics. So I'll be talking about the basic uh, theory behind this and also how it is useful. So implementation will take about uh, take a bit of time, and so I'll be implementing that in other videos where I'll be talking about uh, merge sort or quick sort or any other sorting algorithm where divide and conquer is pretty uh, it is useful. So uh, let's get started. So as you can see over here, the first point says that it's a programming approach where the problem is divided into smaller problems. And each pro smaller problem is solved separately. So that is what happens in divide and conquer. So it uh, runs analogous to the divide and rule scheme, which is used by several uh, imperialists. Uh, which was used by several imperialists back in the days of colonization, where they would uh, divide uh, the people, uh, create uh, disunity among them, and then uh, conquer them one by one. So that is what happens over here. Uh, so the second uh, the the second point says that a stage is reached when the smaller problems can't be further divided. So that is when the combining starts from bottom. So the final solution appears when uh, we merge all the smaller solutions. So it is a three-step process. So the first thing you do is divide them. So divide the bigger problem into smaller uh, problems and then conquer them. And what conquering stage means is that you solve the problems and then combine. So division stage deals with dividing all the larger problems into small, smaller ones. Conquering stage deals with solving all the smaller, uh, small problems whichever we can solve directly using JS methods or functions. And the seventh one involves combining all the solutions to give the one major solution which we require out of this programming approach, out of this uh, function. So common algorithms which are based on the divide and conquer algorithm are binary search. Binary search is implemented in an order, ordered array. So what an ordered array is that the array is uh, either uh, it is uh, it is ordered it is it is kind of uh, it is represented either in the descending order or the ascending order if it has uh, the numeric values. So, or else it, it is um, uh, ordered according to the alpha alphabet order if it has characters in it. So, an ordered array in this, uh, the binary search, what it does is that it starts searching from the middle of the list. So, let's say you have uh, 1 to 10 uh, list of numbers. So, if, it, if I want to find out the fourth one, so what it does is that it directly goes to the fifth one and sees that the fifth one is lesser than. Uh, it is less it is greater than 4 so automatically it goes to the left side and the left half is again subdivided and then the process keeps continuing until you reach the fourth uh, value and the fourth value is read out by the computer so that is what happens in binary research you have quick sort as well as an uh, example where uh, divide and conquer algorithm is used a lot and then uh, there is merge sort as well so what merge sort does is that uh, merge sort breaks down the entire. Uh, let us say merge sort is a. By the way, merge sort is a quick way to uh, sort a list of values into either de descending or ascending orders. So what it does is that it divides it uh, divides the list into smaller uh, lists. It sorts them and then combines the uh, combines the sorted lists. And then recombines the uh, sorted list. Uh, this process keeps going on until you get the uh, complete uh, sorted list. So that, that is what happens in merge sort. Similarly, quick sort is another way uh, where the uh, items are picked up and immediately they are uh, sorted. If uh, uh, sorted in a way, if they are uh, greater, so the replacement happens and this process keeps happening and I think uh, showing them to you in a visual way is better than talking about that so I'll make uh, more videos I'll, I'll, I'll talk about quick sort and merge sort with an example so that you can start working on them along with me on JavaScript in this series 
Anyways, uh, going further, we have Strassen's matrix multiplication. So this is a very fast way of multiplying two matrices. That also uses divide and conquer. And you have another uh, FFT, which is a fast Fourier transform algorithm, which is called as Cooley Turkey FFT. So this also uses divide and conquer. So as I was saying, uh, divide and conquer rec recursively breaks down problems into smaller ones as said above until they are solvable. So the key word over here is recursively. So it uses, it, it employs the recursion technique that we have uh, dealt with in the previous video. So it breaks down the problems into uh, smaller ones recursively and solves them. So once, uh, what happens is that you break down the problem. So you have two, uh, let us say you, you break the problem into two smaller problems. Now you take the left side or the first problem among those two problems. You break them further again using rec recursive uh, technique. And then the, the breaking down keeps on happening as I was uh, mentioning in the uh, previous points. Until you reach a point where you can solve the problem, you solve the main problem. So the 10 point uh, says that the JS sorting array function is said to be troublesome. That's where our divide and conquer approach becomes useful. So I picked this up from a textbook I'm reading, so I'll put the link down below. You can purchase it from Amazon. I really uh, recommend uh, this to people who are picking up uh, functional programming. It's a pretty good textbook. So JS sorting array function is said to be troublesome. It, uh, it, is, not, it is unreliable according to this textbook. So divide and conquer approach becomes useful in this situation. So guys, uh, gear up for your uh, for learning more. So I suggest that you keep uh, learning about these concepts. So I'm pretty sure you have an understanding about divide and conquer as of now. We'll see those in action in the coming videos. Until then, keep uh, watching my videos. Stay tuned to my channel. Share this with your friends, and also give it a thumbs up if you like it. And give a comment below so that I'll uh, reply to you whatever if you have any doubt or suggestion or an opinion I'm open to all alright guys thanks a lot for watching I'll see you in the next video bye bye